can, can can two men have have babies? No. Okay, that's what so I thought. You say it's so, a natural law that I yeah. don't have the choice on who I marry. Yeah. It's natural law that I don't choose who I marry. That's not fair. No, hold on a second. I I why, why, why does your why does your own choice matter more than what is true? Uh, so. It, what is true? What exactly. What is true? That's what, what we've that been that talking mean? about the last two hours. What is true? What is good? What is beautiful? This is what you guys should be. This is what we should be thinking. Oh, does it come down to you? Yes, it does. Come on. Oh. So let me ask you a question. Oh, yeah. So it comes down to you. Wait. Let me hold it. Let me hold it. Come on. No, we hold it. So was Hitler right when it comes down to you? No. Why? Because he just fundamentally degrees, disagrees with my beliefs about your beliefs. But exactly. Hitler's Hitler's beliefs killed the Jews. Why was he wrong? Oh, sorry, can I just quickly say something about how we just went from talking about the government controlling marriage to Hitler for some reason? No, but you, I, 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 I've listened to your control. argument for 20 minutes. It makes no sense. Totally respectful. Like, you've made no sense for 20 minutes. So I'm going to get to Please somebody guys, else. So. Listen to what you just said. Yeah. I mean, yeah. all I've been talking about is the government yeah. controlling marriage. I, I, I've been super it's patient. Perfect. I've been super patient. It makes no uh, sense. So I can say things don't make it's sense all day. I mean, it's really not that hard. Yeah, got it. Okay, so just question. So <laughs> yeah. why was Hitler wrong? Why was Hitler wrong? I mean, I you can write a whole essay about that. Well, tell me, tell me one sentence as to why Hitler was objectively wrong. To me, I mean, to no, me, no, no, no. he was right. Of course he was. So that, so there's something above you and above Hitler that we're comparing right to. What is that something? Morality. Where do we get that from? How you come up, where you're from, your parents, your culture. I mean, the place you live. I mean, a lot of different. So are things. are some moralities better or right, more right than wrong than other moralities? I would say no, because it just comes down to you personally. Okay, so the Taliban believes it's okay to rape eight-year-old boys called T-boys. Are they wrong? To me, yes, they are wrong, but to themselves, they think it's right. Is that... <laughs> are, are they objectively wrong? Okay, what is an objective? What is the objective? Well, hold on. Objectively. Looking According outside... To what? Right and wrong. That comes down to me. And to me, they're wrong. But to them, they're right. Wow. I mean, what, that is how it is. So, so let me ask you. Okay. So the, 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 the Nazi guards at concentration camps, they thought they were doing right. Were they yeah. doing right? No. In your opinion or objectively? In my opinion, no. But what if they were to say we were doing right? Well, then we have an argument, me and them. And then we have a fight, and then we have a war, and then it is what it is. That's how it is. When somebody goes and rapes a woman here on campus, are they wrong? Yes. Why? Because that is something you should not do. Oh, so they should not do. They Hold on a second. You just did a should statement. You didn't do a should statement with the Taliban with little boys. What does should mean? I mean what are you comparing should to? Myself. Are you? Yes. So it's your morality that yes. triumphs over any objective laws. I would, I mean... Not technically. I mean, at the end of the day, I can do whatever I want. I mean, I'll end up in jail. I'll end up, you know, wherever I end up. But, you know, it's whatever world you live in. Is that the way we should design society? Everyone does what's ever right in their own eyes? I mean, no, because it would be kind of chaos at the end of the day. I, I agree. So then what standard should we then derive morality from other than opinion? I mean, there's a lot of standards across the world. I mean, wherever you go, there's different life standards. I mean, the uh, life standards I, we have here versus South America, Asia, uh, I Africa, agree. it's all completely different. Are some so better no, than others? Not done. Are some better than others? I mean, it comes down to where you're from. I think, wait, wait, let me finish. Let me finish. I think the standard we have here in America is one of the best ones. But well, now and you're I using different say, words. No, no, let Should, me finish. Let best, me so some things are better than others. And then the yeah, question yeah, is, what is the ultimate good? You're climbing the ladder, you're getting closer. Good. It comes down to you. Does it? Yes, it does. What is the ultimate good? It's my world. You know, I live in my own world with my things. What I think is good is what I think is good. You don't understand that's one of the most narcissistic yes, things. Yes, it is. I am a narcissist. So what? So what? What if everyone acted the way you just articulated? What would that world look like? I have no idea. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. So you probably agree that's a terrible world to yes, live in. Yes, it would be. But thank God not everybody's like me. Yes. Thank God. <laughs> okay. Okay. We, we have we have clarity. Thank you. Yes, we do. You got anything else you want to talk about? There's a lot more. Uh, I, I think I understand your worldview pretty well. All about me. No one be like me. 
you're I walking. Mean, but, I mean, well, so what are you trying to get at, though? Is what I'm it's obvious, and I've been doing this the whole time. There is a transcendent, eternal, external so morality. A, so you're, okay, so that you exists. Say, okay, so you say there is an objective good in the objective Of course bad. there is, yes. And the, the denial of that is only something we entertain because of how insane modern culture has become. How has it gone insane? We say men give birth. I don't say that. The Biden administration does. That's not me. They say the chest feed. I know, because it's all about you. I got that, okay? Yeah, so we, 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 we've been through yeah. that. Only about you, right? Exactly. Center yeah, of the universe. 100%, 100%. It's Copernicus over yep. here, right? That's me. So, so yes, we are now in a postmodern age uh -huh. where it says in the scriptures, man will do what is ever right in his own eyes. So the scripture is right. Of course it is. Yes. It says but, who? Okay, says God, but okay, I can get wait, through wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. What is a God? Jehovah, Adonai, the oneness, okay, ethical okay. monotheism that built the world you live in. So an omni, uh, omnipotent being. Omnipotent, omnipotent, not omnipotent, okay, but, but that's okay. Gotcha. So, <laughs> omnipotent, omniscient. I mean, I could get theological okay. if you want, but even lesser than that, C.S. Lewis developed it called the Tao. Okay. okay? So even this is this is more agreeable. I'm not. Okay, I'm okay. a Christian, but every cult, almost any functioning culture, has something called the way. Gotcha. Meaning that yes, there is a true. better way of living uh -huh. than other ways. Yeah. And if you compare Confucianism, 100%. you compare Roman, yeah. Greek. Yeah. There's always a way of life. And it's very yeah. similar, and they have some harmonies. And we must develop in the West what is the way. We have said to our kids, there is no way. Do whatever you want. Hate to say it, you articulated it beautifully. Um, I but really, I mean, the way of life changed throughout time. But, I mean, to say there is one guaranteed best way to live... I mean, I feel like that's too, you know, two-dimensional. Is it? I'd say so. I mean, life is bigger than the two dimensions, black and white, good I'm not, and bad. I'm not saying it's good. There, there's hierarchies or nuances, but wouldn't it be worth spending some time wondering what is the best way to live? I think about that all the time, too, and I, I've come to the conclusion that it's just up to you. I don't, honestly, I mean, live your life how you want to. That's not the point. The agency okay. is not okay, that okay, is okay. the ought to. So the Greeks had a word for this called telos, uh -huh. where you get the word telescope from, far out in the distance, something that you should yearn towards or desire, the best way for humans to live. Sure. Now, I believe that's a Christian way. Some people uh -huh. might not agree with that. Yeah. But you cannot say that there is, we should as a society acknowledge a way is necessary. The founders acknowledged it, where they said the laws of nature and nature is God. We hold these truths to be self-evident. So our whole civilization is built on an idea that there is a way, uh -huh, and yeah. we're, we're now teaching our kids, no, there isn't, do whatever you want. I'm saying that's okay. really, really okay. dangerous. I have a question. Can this way change and evolve as time goes on? It can adapt, but not necessarily for the better. And that's why Christianity is just as applicable today as it was 2,000 years ago. And the founders did not write the Constitution for the times. It was written to stand the test of time. Because as much as we try to convince ourselves, human beings don't really change. We're still self-interested, we still lie, we still cheat. That's why the Constitution has lasted. It's the longest lasting political document in history. So what are you trying to say? I'm saying that absent an eternal standard, something transcendent. You're there is an objective you keep, that we should you, all strive for. Yes, and we have to talk well, about okay, what okay, that okay, is. Sure. What is it? Let me know. That's the question. Okay. I believe in the ultimate, it's okay. Christ. Okay. But in the American context, it's ethical monotheism. Yes. That there is an ethical one God that administers a way for your life and you build a civilization on it. Okay, the thing is, talking about Christianity, I mean, you know Nietzsche, God is dead. You mean Nietzsche? Nietzsche, whatever. God is dead. I mean, Christianity is a dying religion every single year. The numbers go down. And a okay. while it's so, going to be gone. So, okay, so just, I'm, just gonna, I, I'm going to try to save you here, man. Nietzsche lamented the death of Christianity, just so you know. I've, I've read Nietzsche, whatever, however you want to say it. It's Nietzsche. Whatever, big difference. I mean, okay. either which did you read? Did idea. you read Beyond Good and Evil or Thus I mean, Spoke Zal Zalathustra? I mean, I've seen I Uber's mention all that what? shit. I love that video. Yeah, which one? Thus Spoke, spoke Zalathustra? Or, yeah. Beyond Good and Evil. Beyond Good and Evil is a book. I mean, it'll be a video game too. Okay, but no. But, okay, so, but but here's what Nietzsche can I, can said I though. Can I say my point? Can I say my point real quick? Just okay. So according to Nietzsche, God. Nietzsche. Whatever, okay, whatever it doesn't doesn't matter. You get the idea. God is dead according to him. Every single year, Christianity numbers fall. Religions die. That doesn't mean it's not true. Okay, I know, but one day, 
Christianity is going to be gone. No. Yes, it will be. It'll be a remnant. You know, it will be a remnant. It will be a small little religion. But, th but, but it this will is never also have the control it has in the government. Maybe today. Every single day, as Christianity Christianity has ebbed and flowed before. It's gone into from martyrdom into exile into revival. Christianity that's, looked like a dying religion in year 400 and year that's 1100. True, that's true. So, but you might be right because in our scriptures it does say that we'll be persecuted and that our numbers will decrease in false prophets. So, so you might even be right. I'm not so even going to deny. So I'm trying to say is. Why build a whole culture around something that is going to perhaps okay. die one day? Well, first of all, we already built it. And it's falling. Is Christianity it, is it falling. Well, yeah, is it falling because we're going towards Christianity or because away Christianity? That's just the natural way of things. I mean, the Greek religion fell, you know, Rome fell. I mean, things come and go every day. Wait, hold on. Do people still worship the Greek gods? No, they do yeah, not. Okay, well, Christianity has staying power. And by the way, before you get too ahead of yourself, the gospel spreading in Africa like never before. So Christianity is actually... I mean, actually, they said that years and years. They say that hold on. It's increasing year. worldwide. It's decreasing in America. But hold on to your point. What am I getting at? We could debate taxes and borders. None of this matters if we don't first acknowledge some form of something outside of ourselves needs to exist to have a good and free society. You don't have that. You're going to live in a really crummy, so, totalitarian so country. So you rely on a God to tell you what is good and bad? The, yeah, the God of the heavens and the earth, okay. yes. But even if you don't, I want... I, I rely on the community around me to well, tell me what is good and bad. Yeah, I mean, but... But hold on, first it was you, now it's the community, you're well, all over the place, I, so. Well, you are a part of the community, you are, you know, you well, are the community. Well, that's you not, are an individual again, member. Again, that, that's, if you rely on the community, then in Nazi Germany, you'd be running trains to the, you know, the concentration camps, right? Well, that's what people were doing. And that was wrong. It was. Okay. The question is, what's going to prevent us from doing that again? You could do the same thing with God. Of course you can pervert what is true, it does not make what is true wrong. What is true is, is eternal. Thou shall not murder. Thou shall not steal. Thou shall not covet. Thou shall not have any I mean, gods above me. I say all this, but I mean, the American government will go bomb a, you know, Fair whatever. enough. That means they're not living up to the standard. It doesn't make the standard not true. I just think the standard is a, something impossible to reach. Is it impossible or is it necessary to set for us to strive as close as possible to? I mean, honestly, yeah, it's a good idea. Thank you. I'd agree with that. I'd agree. It's a good to set a good. It's a, it's a good telos, a good I thing to strive so, but for. Listen, but wait, wait, wait. But not everything Christianity says is perfect. That's the thing. Well, look, I I I'm happy to defend Christianity, but what I will say I'm I'm saying even if you just acknowledge anybody that there is a better way to live, that is a win. That there is a way that humans ought to live and ways that we should probably avoid. That is at least a refutation of postmodernism, which is what is dominating the land today. I guess, yeah. Okay. That's where you start. I mean, I just think it's just this whole good versus evil is just so arbitrary. That's very Nietzschean, but it's not. I, uh, okay, uh, yeah, uh, no, I respect I'm that. I'm going to say that. something radical, that. okay? A child put in an oven is not subjective. That is morally reprehensible no matter what culture, no matter where you come from. I don't care about your history. I don't care about your shared experience. That's evil. I, I agree with you, but... You because, know, you know why? Because all of a sudden, something other than your reason is kicking in, which is your no, soul. Because, yes, it is. Because we know at a soul level, it's wrong to put kids in ovens, okay? But not everyone around the world would agree with that, unfortunately. Well, they're evil. Thank you. That's an and evil then, thing. Okay, and then we're at back at good versus evil. We, what is that? Black versus white. Okay, so we could, again, I would say the good is that which is perfected in being. Okay. All right? That's your personal definition. Well, no, it's Aristotle's, but that's okay. okay so you. pretty pretty important gotcha. to cre creating the West, right? Okay. Um, but if we build up from that, okay. we understand the greatest thinkers of the West, Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle, yeah. they started with what is good. And yeah. they spent their whole life asking that question. Yeah. How often do college kids ask that question? Rarely. That's a problem. Most people rarely think that, though. That's what I'm getting at, is that if you do not honor that there's something above you, something beautiful, something transcendent, even the possibility, the idea of it, I call it religious. You could call it, you know... Community, that's what I would call it. But the... I, the so, philosophos, philosophy... The yeah. love of wisdom. Wisdom is the knowledge of things that don't change. 
We rarely teach kids things that don't change. We teach them things that do change. Knowledge is important. Wisdom is eternal. Wisdom is, what's the best way to live? Are human beings good or bad? What is justice? What should the punishment be for a stolen Snicker bar versus murder? These are the most important yeah. questions, right? And we don't contemplate them nearly enough at universities. The thing is with that is just like the way the world is today, where things are so changing so fast, it's just hard to root something. Hold on, let's go. Are they changing fast, or are they staying the same faster? Well, go in more into that. Are we better people because we can fly from Phoenix to New York and have Wi-Fi and Twitter, yeah. or are we more of the same just in an accelerated way? I'd say it um, amplifies who we really are. Bingo. So we don't change; it just speeds it up. So shouldn't we discover who we are, the nature of man, which is what Aristotle did in his ethics. He did it better than most anybody else, that there's, there's a, an ascendance of virtues, right? The ultimate being courage, the goal yeah. of humanity being happiness. He had a word called udadamani. Yeah, feelings don't change. We all feel the same. Sort of. You're, you're getting close. Yeah, but this is what I'm getting but at. How is, you feel that changes. No, that's how you, you feel. Can, you can feel happiness yes. you know, looking at the sun, what, what watching I, the sunset. What I'm but getting, nowadays, the way we can feel that has changed. Sure. The way we feel, the way we changes can change. slightly. Yeah, but what but I'm, we are still fundamentally the same. Yes, and that and then we want to learn what that fundamentally the same thing is. Thank you, man. I want to get to other people. Okay. Thank you very much. That. Thank you. It. You were very. You started rough, and then we got that's somewhere. Actually, Thank you.